want to try to get really clear with you about what's happened. I just need to make certain that I know how to stop this. Hold on. Finish recording. Okay. So um, this is, we're a charitable trust. We have a 40,000 US dollars a month grant. We had a volunteer create this campaign called Birth Plan. He used a particular method to create it, which was to use a modified broad match and then an exact match with the same with the same ads. So he created two ads in each of these campaigns and then two ads in these and he created a extensive campaign that has done actually quite well. So this is the past 30 days and If I do the ad groups, you can see the, these first two ones are doing quite well. They have good conversions in 30 days and a good conversion rate and a good CTR rate. So this ad then goes to this landing page. I don't happen to like the landing page, but there you go. He did it. It's got a good CTR rate. That landing page goes to this thank you page and check your inbox for the complimentary um, ebook. And then it goes to a series of emails. This is what they look like. It's download the checklist. I have edited these emails two times to see if we can get a better funnel. And then I'm also saying to people they can check out what are resources, where these, this freebie is coming from. He's put it into an automation, which is like an autoresponder. I've, the only thing I changed was he had a seven day wait. Pregnant women don't wait that long. You can see there's one, two, three, four emails. As I said, I have edited those emails, but not the looks of them. I didn't like the landing page he did, so I created this landing page for another campaign. And they receive this ebook, and it's the table of contents. Um, this campaign, so let me explain to you about what I did. So we, I created the ad groups for this massive campaign, 24 to 30 through 42 weeks in the birth. This campaign, this ad group, was doing very, very well. I'll explain this in a minute. These three broad match keywords were doing very well. So this is 30 days. So this is this month. So you can see that even in a few days, this is very good. We don't have conversions set up on this and I'll explain why. So what I did was I extracted these phrases out and I created campaigns. Um, let me see. Nope, hold on, sorry. Okay, so one of the campaigns was what can you expect? We had no impressions, no clicks. Another campaign was 24 weeks, no impressions or clicks. The other was pregnancy, 24 weeks, a little bit. So we had these click through broad match. It is broad match and we understand that it can attract anything, but it's quite a specific in some ways. Once I broke it off, I did it, nothing happened. So the only campaign in all of the work that I've done that is getting any traction at all is this volunteers campaign. And he's doing, he's doing quite well for these phrases. Now this is only this month. 
there's always already been 20 conversions in a modified broad match. But when you look at, when we go to, sorry, let me find this. When we go back to the messages, to this workflow, Didn't want that one, sorry. Nope, click the wrong one there. So these are the four emails. You can see we have a very good open and click-through rate, and it drops right off. So we have no sales. This campaign's been running for a year, and we, as far as we can tell, we've had no sales. We've, in fact, had no sales in three and a half weeks. So our charitable trust is going out of business. We have about $2,500 left, and I need to figure out how to get this campaign um, having a sales funnel and then trying to replicate it. Google AdWords is, support is very good and they'll help me figure out what to do with the other campaigns that aren't getting traction. But this is the first one I want to work with. I want to change the landing page, change the lookout of the emails, and I want to get clearer and just better. So thank you for helping.